Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Kotaro Lives Alone. Now, this is an anime series that really caught me by surprise because I never heard of it. And at the same time, it just has a very kid-friendly vibe and look because it's about this little kid who's basically a toddler. He lives alone in an apartment and then he has all these adult friends that surround him. And that sounds really weird, but it actually works for this series. So let's go ahead and get into the things that I really enjoyed about this series. Starting off with the story itself. So Kotaro, as I mentioned, he's just this little kid. He's probably like five to seven years old, you know, somewhere around there. And he lives alone in an apartment. And that sounds really odd because you normally don't see kids that young to live alone. They're normally with their parents or some other adults like their grandparents. But in this case, he lives alone in this apartment and that already is something that's very mysterious and gets you interested. But once the story goes along and then you meet his neighbors and the other characters and you start learning more about Kotaro and all these other people, then it gets a lot better. And that's really what I enjoy about this series because it's interesting from the beginning, it's mysterious, but as the story and characters unfold, I really feel it gets even more interesting and you get invested more in the story. Which leads me to the second thing, and that is the characters. Kotaro is just this really cute, smart kid, but he's more of an adult and you understand why he's that way. And then the other characters, like his main neighbor next to him, this is a guy who creates manga. He's a manga artist. At first, he's just somebody who doesn't care about anything, you know, really cares about himself. But then he meets Kentaro and he kind of befriends him and kind of falls in love with this kid. And then as you meet other adults, like there's another girl that lives next door, there's this Yakuza type character, and then other people come to lives, they all fall in love with Kotaro, and you will too. And by the end of the story, I really did love all these characters. They're very interesting, they are more than a 2D character, and at the same time, their entire relationship it's just something that you really enjoy watching. And that leads me to the final thing with this entire series. And it's just the overall charm that it had. I did not expect to really like and absolutely love the characters and the story as much as I did. And at the same time, after you watch this whole series, you just feel good. You know, that, that's probably the biggest thing that I got out of it. That you felt really good after watching this series. And there is one more thing that I forgot to mention about this story is that it really touches on a lot of adult things. You know, things such as like abuse, uh, abandonment, uh, loneliness, and also mental and emotional health. There's a lot of things going on in this series that you would not expect just by the way it looks. So those are like the really best things about this series. It's very surprising and it's charming and fun in the end. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap where you can get a domain for less than $10, plus get privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now getting to the things that are not as good about this series, at least for me, it's probably the fact that I enjoyed these characters and the story so much, I wanted to learn more. And even though the entire series does a good job of explaining to you how Kotaro ended up this way, you don't learn much more other than that. And also the other characters as well because they do have their own stories, personality, and lives. And even though the series does touch on those points, just like they do with Kotaro, it would have been great to learn more. And I think maybe in a future season of Kotaro Lives Alone, we'll get more of that. And I would welcome to watch that because I really did thoroughly enjoy this series. And I think you will too. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other series that you've seen recently, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my anime series, show, or movie reviews, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more 
for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.